Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video I'm going to share with you a fall nail mail haul. I went to a couple of different distributors and picked up some nail art as well as some stuff from Amazon and Michaels and I just wanted to share it with you. So if you're interested in seeing what I purchased just keep on watching. Okay, I'm going to start with a couple of things that I picked up from Michaels just because they're big and I want to get them out of the way. I've shared this set with you in my previous video when I did a watch me work for a fall nail set and these are some iridescent watercolored paints that I bought. Any color that I could think that I would want I have here. I quite enjoyed using them in the little tutorial I did for you guys last week and I like that all of these colors are pearlized so there's kind of that well they're called pearlescent watercolors and I think this was only $15 or $14.99 yeah 15 bucks. <laughs> That's going to be one of those videos. $15 at Michael's, so it wasn't overly expensive. I know that there are watercolored paints on Amazon. I haven't tried those out, but if I do, I will put them in my storefront so you guys have easy access if that's something you're looking for. Then I bought this palette of watercolor paints. This was also $15 at Michael's, and I love that it came with a rainbow of colors. You can mix the colors together to get that specific color you want. I find that it was quite, I'm not going to say quite translucent to the colors, but they were that perfect watercolored look. So you kind of want that translucentness. Is that a word? <laughs> They're not an opaque water paint, which I can appreciate. Okay, I did this design with some, with a stamping plate. So I stamped some leaves and a vine with stamping polish. And then I put some of the paints, watercolored paints inside the leaves. And it didn't do anything to the stamping polish, which was great. When I let the paints dry and I put the top coat over top, it didn't smudge or streak. So what I wanted these paints for, it seems like it's going to to do the trick for me. And again, as I mentioned in my last video, to get this kind of a look, you can use alcohol inks as well. Then I bought this paper pad book at Michael's and I showed this in my video last week, so I'm not gonna go through it. It was $11 compared to $30 regular price. And it was just some really nice fall tones, some green, some creams, some oranges, some browns, all those really nice fall tones. And I love this. So this was a, a really good find. And my backdrop is also from this paper pad book. So the next items I want to share with you are from Creative Beauty. And these are things that I have purchased myself. I finally broke down and bought my files from Ugly Duckling and they are the medium zebra files. I love this shape and I was running low on all of my files so I needed to decide what file was working best in my studio with my clients and I chose the Ugly Duckling ones because it's the same grit on both sides. I also have the Lexi files which is the 100 100 grit, 180 grit. And again, I love this shape. And these files are durable. I don't have to go through like five of them for a service. But I was finding that I wasn't using the 100 grit side as much. So I was getting good use out of the 180 side. And I just felt that it was a waste of product not using this side as much as I use the 180 grit side. So these are not cheap. They are well made. They are worth every penny. But I don't like wasting product and I felt like I was wasting product by not getting use out of the 100 grit side as much as the 180 grit side. So I made the decision to stock up on the Ugly Duckling ones, the medium grit. They also have fine and coarse. I know I did a little test where I bought the medium and coarse and I went to see how fast the medium went in comparison to the coarse files and I went through way more mediums than I did the coarse ones. And it's not because these are less of a grit or anything 
anything like that. I just, I, I preferred how it would feel on the nails when I was finished filing, when I was taking bulk off or anything like that. With, I do gel nails and I find that the medium grit is coarse enough. I don't need anything coarser. You already are trying to be careful not to cut or nick your clients, right? So I just didn't find I was using the coarse files as much as I was using the medium ones. I was always reaching for these ones. So I stocked up on these and then when, I think there's 50 to a pack. And when you divide the price by 50 per file is not bad. Next, I purchased a magic gel color, probably because Creative Beauty had these on sale. Was it 75% off or was it 50% off? I can't remember, but this was a smoke and deal and this was the only color that I didn't have out of what Creative Beauty had left in stock. I don't know what they have left in stock. I know it's pretty slim pickings right now because they are not carrying the line anymore, but I picked up Frosted Mulberry, which is this really pretty purple glitter, very, very ultra fine glitter. There's some fuchsia pink in here, some lavender. I think Frosted Mulberry is the perfect name for this color. I also picked up, I don't know what to show you next. Tack. I stocked up, stocked up. I bought one tack. I stocked up. Whoa, one bottle. <laughs> I got a backup of tack from Light Elegance. I use this all the time. I've already, I opened up my last bottle, so I thought I don't want to be without. Tack is an amazing product. I find that when I use this product along with my INM ONL primer, my clients do not come back with lifting. So this is a must have <laughs> in my studio, something I always have to have at least one back backup of. Another backup I got was Light Elegance Super Shiny and I won't ever be without this hard gel top coat. This is so shiny, so durable. I find that it doesn't scratch. I find that I can use this top coat on top of Magic Gel their pots, not their gel polishes or not any gel polishes. I'll use this on top of any hard gel color. I'll use it on top of Fusion and the shine is absolutely incredible. I also stocked up, stocked up, I keep saying that. I also got a backup of Wildflowers Top Coat Gel. This is my favorite no wipe top coat for any gel polish. I can use this over top of Wildflowers, of course, over top of Ugly Duckling, Magic Gel, even over top of P Plus from Light Elegance. And it does really well over those brands. However, I, I do have P Plus. So if I'm using P Plus gel polish, I will use the P Plus Top Coat. Even though I like to stay within the brands when, when I am doing a service. Sometimes it is unrealistic for me to put that pressure on myself to have every top coat with every brand that I carry. That eats at the bank account, <laughs> unfortunately. So I find that the Wildflowers Top Coat Gel works really well with the brands that I do carry. So I don't need to have a whole bunch of different brands of top coat or having backups of them. I also picked up number 142 from Ugly Duckling, which is this really pretty rose colored gel polish. And I'm actually wearing it on this nail here. It's marbled in with the next color I'm gonna show you. There we go. Now you can see the color. <laughs> so a very pretty rose colored. It was easy to marble with. And just have a really, really pretty fall toned color that's not orange or yellow or brown. So it's got some pink in there. I also picked up number, nope, that's not it. <laughs> I also picked up number 113, which is this color right here. So it's almost like a maroon color. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more burgundy, but it's a deep maroon or a plum. I, I guess maybe a plum. I've also got it marbled on my thumb. Marbling with Ugly Duckling gel polishes are so easy and so fun. And I love that every time you do a marbled look, you get something different. So just a really pretty fall toned, even a winter toned plum color. Now we can bring this bottle out. I thought I would try out the Tacky Top. I was considering getting a collection of glass gels. And I think that the brand I was looking at was over $200 for I think 12 colors or eight colors. I think it was 12. There was quite a few of them. I have a drawer full of Ugly Duckling gel polish colors and I'm working my way to having the whole collection. And I know Natasha from Ugly Duckling has used Tacky Top with the gel polishes to create a, a glass gel color. So I thought, what an 
an economical way to get glass gels without having to buy a collection of glass gels. I probably have over a hundred ugly duckling gel polishes. So I probably have over a hundred colors of glass gels just with this one bottle. So I thought that was quite economical. I'm kind of getting the feeling that this nail mail haul is more on budgets and <laughs> money <laughs> and bank accounts. <laughs> Not so much when you when you have a big haul to share, but I thought I would try that out and I will report back and let you know what I think of this. It's probably going to be amazing. Then I picked up Ideal Pink Builder. I prefer a thinner viscosity gel. However, little story here. I've got the, what is this? The 30 gram or the 30 mil jar of Ideal Pink Builder. I love this for doing reverse French. So this is the color that I have on here is the Ideal Pink but this is in the Jimmy Gel. And I'm almost out of my 30 mil pot and I'm looking at the expiry, February, 2028. I bought this. <laughs> I wanna say that I either bought this in 2017 or 2018 when Can West was around at that time at the CNTC and I bought this along with the Ideal White. I know it's taken me a, a long time to use this cause I don't use it every day in my services. However, I really like using this for on my own nails, especially when I'm doing my right hand. So the viscosity is thicker. So you can see that that tail is still just moving around a little bit, but I have time to work on my right hand if I'm sculpting out a set of nails on myself, or if I just want th this color on a client and they just want to this color and a top coat. This is the, such an amazing, color i find that it goes with almost every skin tone out there and the more that i fall in love with a product the more i use it the more i convince my clients to use it and that is actually what has been happening with the ideal pink builder so i bought the is this 50 mils i think it is so i bought the big jar because i was running out i enjoy sculpting nails on myself I, I know a lot of nail techs hate doing their own nails. I love doing my own nails. I will stick on a movie or two or three movies because depending on what I'm doing on my nails, it will take that long and sit in my studio and just have some me time. And I absolutely love that quality time with myself. <laughs> And you're gonna laugh because what I'm gonna show you next is kind of going away from doing my sculpting out my own nails. But this Ideal Pink Builder is something that I will be having in my studio from now on. I think that's all I got from Creative Beauty and that was the essentials. Sometimes buying essentials isn't fun, but at the same time, it is fun because it's nail mail. Okay, next I got some Moira stamping plates from Canada Nail Supplies. Canada Nail Supplies was having a fall sale and a couple of distributors I got in on their sales because I wanted to start stocking up on some fall, Halloween and, and winter items and they were having a sale. It was an amazing price. So I went online shopping. <laughs> the first one I got was spider gel. I see a lot of spider gel designs on nails. I personally don't prefer to work with spider gel itself. It's it's a raised product and with my clients, like it's a, it's a great concept. With my clients, if they can pick at something, they will. If anything is raised on their nails, they will pick it off. So I thought this was a great option if they want any kind of spider gel lines. And there's some, like you see a lot of this and these, these two designs. Oh no, this one is a really popular one using spider gel itself. I've seen designs with this look on nails. And then there's, there's stuff like this. Like I can't do that with spider gel. I'm not, yeah, I can't, there's no way. <laughs> spider gel, it's easy to do straight lines, like something like this, but at least like with stamping, you get that consistent distance between the lines. <laughs> so I thought this would be kind of fun for any time of year, but for Halloween coming up for fall, then I got Fall in Love. I think that Moira is probably, I have to say, one of my favorite stamping plate companies. So I haven't even taken the blue off of here yet, which is kind of good because you don't want to see the reflection of my lights. So I'm just going to zoom in a little. So this one is called Fall in Love. A lot of autumn type images. This one here, I laughed at. Like, can you see, look at his eyes right there. They are hilarious. That's such a cute design. And I, is that a skunk? <laughs> I know that's a squirrel, but that's, 
Or is that, that's a chipmunk because that's a squirrel. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, some fall animals. I don't know, skunk? Is skunk a fall animal? Um, a deer, some mushrooms. This leaf design really caught my attention when I saw this plate. Some mushrooms that look like they're growing out of the ground. Beautiful leaves, and I think you can layer these too. You have rain, hello autumn, some more leaf designs. And then down here you have some Halloween. So like this is a multi-purpose plate. You, it's not just for Halloween, but you can use it for fall as well. I love the cobweb ones. Did I, I have a ton of cobweb plates, so I didn't buy it necessarily for these cobwebs. And if I'm being honest, I'll show you what really attracted me to this plate was this hand right here for Halloween. For those of you that follow me up and saw my perplex perplexedness, is that a word? How stumped I was with a light elegance fall glitter called Trunk Full of Love. Remember this glitter? And I was stumped at how I would use it in a design and one of my subscribers had said you could use it for Halloween and put, stamp some dark shadowy trees on there or something. So when I saw this plate and I saw this hand and these trees, I thought of trunk I thought of trunk full of love and I thought, great, I'm going to try this design and see what it looks like. You could even put these creepy skeleton hands on there. Here's like some clouds in a sky, in the nighttime sky, a graveyard, some cute skeletons. Like this is it. This is actually a cute Halloween section down here. But I was really excited that I thought of this glitter gel from Light Elegance and I thought, hey, I can use that. So I don't feel so stumped anymore with this glitter gel. Then I picked up green leaves from Moira and I've see been seeing so much of these leaves on nails and I think they're mostly hand painted. Sarah, one of our Creative Beauty ambassadors, I've seen a number of her, pic her photos and pictures of I guess leaves probably like this or more so like this here on nails and it looks so classy and elegant and I thought oh man if I was to hand paint that it would probably look like someone from kindergarten trying to paint a dot with a teardrop on the end of it. <laughs> So when I saw this plate of green leaves, I thought, okay, you know what? For years I've been wanting a leaf plate, not biting the bullet and getting ones, but this year I finally did. So there's lots of different type of leaves on stems. Some, this almost looks like sage. So like lots of variety here, which I thought would be fun for fall. Then I got this one, Blossometry. I got this for, where is it? It was this design right here. So it's almost like that dream catcher design, like this one right here. I don't know what that art is called. Selena Ryden does a lot of art like this and she's so good at hand painting it herself. And when I saw this plate, I thought, oh, I have a client that loves dream catchers, loves designs like this with little dangly things. And so I thought that that would be perfect. And I would even wear a design like this. Like there's so many fun things on here. And the fact that these were very reasonably priced and on sale and I love Moira. I thought I would get these. I've yet to try out their stamping polishes. If you guys have tried out the Moira stamping polish, can you comment down below what you think of it? Because I'm curious what it might be like. I bought this tray. <laughs> Whoa, good for you, Carrie. <laughs> I have a number of these trays that I use for sugaring, um, mainly for sugaring. This one's got a bunch of glitter in it. But this one, if you could see here, without me zooming in and, and making the camera move, do you see this here? These are little bubbles or little indents, like upwards in the tray. I knew Canada Nail Supply had these years ago. How frustrating when you have a bunch of crystals in a pot like this and they're all upside down. So I tried this to see if it works. I'm gonna dump a few in here. So you see how they're upside down and you just shake it and they flip over. Not all of them, but so there you go, all of them are flipped 
over. So then when you're grabbing them, you can see what the colors you have or the size or, or whatever. And I thought, wow, I didn't think this would work and it wasn't that expensive, but I wanted to try it and it does work. And then if you don't use all the crystals, I love that it's a triangle shape and you can just dump it back in the pot. So speaking of crystals, this pot here I got, this is two packages of SS5, SS7, and I believe SS9 from Canada Nail Supplies, Swarovski crystals, and this is called the Vintage Collection. Unfortunately, I think I bought the last two that she had in stock. However, they do have other collections, if you will. They have like a unicorn collection, a sweetheart collection, a Christmas collection, an autumn collection. So different colors and sizes of Swarovski crystals in a pack. So you get different sizes. I think this is, an, this is either an SS12 or an SS9, an SS7, and an SS5. So for me and what my clients use and what I use, those three sizes are perfect. Anything bigger, my clients tend to shy away from anything that's super big. Gelix Prep Acid-Free Tip Primer. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is a game changer. Holy cow. I am wearing full coverage tips, Gelix tips here. And I'll just take one of these. So I'm not gonna do this on this one, but I'll show you what you do. For those of you that, you might not know this, and for those of you that use full coverage tips on a regular basis, a lot of times manufacturers will say, or companies will say, etch the inside of the tip so the gel underneath has something to adhere to. If this is too smooth and shiny, the gel underneath can't adhere and it won't stick and be hard. This primer, very small brush, you just rub it in and as you're rubbing it, you're gonna feel this material, this product here of the, of the tip kind of get sticky and you're gonna see it cloud up. That's priming the nail tip and it works like a dream. No more etching it with a file, an e-file or, or a small hand file. Getting dust in there, this eliminates the dust. It's, it's like putting a, a prep on top of your nails when you're doing a service. It's just, that's that step, but you're doing it on the inside of a nail tip. So this is something that I know Creative Beauty didn't have it in stock. I believe if they don't, when this video goes up, they will have it in because I know Rob was saying they were ordering a bunch of Opry products. And I believe he mentioned this, but I could be wrong, but just keep checking that, the website, if you like to purchase from Creative Beauty. This one I did, did get at Canada Nail Supply. I'm so excited about these nails. They are a little long for me, but I'm quite enjoying them. Because they are so tapered, they don't feel that long. And these are, I've seen countless videos on the Opre Gelix, the Sean Legend collection, or the Sean Legend edition. These are extra long tapered coffin. So, okay. Look at that C curve on my thumb. Like that is deep compared to this, which is just curved. This is like, whoa, baby. <laughs> the apex, and I'm shaking because I can't actually maneuver my hand like this. Okay, let's do this finger right here. Like look at the apex on this. It's amazing. This is on my right hand. It was so easy to apply these tips on my right hand. I used, I'll show you, I'll tell you what I used. I was gonna do a video on this and I might down the road, but for today, no. I thought I would try the Jimmy Gel to adhere the tips to my nails with. I found that the clear Jimmy Gel, it was too rigid and the nails popped off. I tried the Gimme Strength from Magpie Beauty and the same thing happened. On this finger, I did use the Jimmy Gel underneath, the Ideal Pink, but I cured it for one minute and I made sure that I put enough of this prep on the nail tip beforehand. And I think that's why the tips were popping off with using the Jimmy Gel because I didn't prep the nail good enough and I didn't cure good enough. So a little troubleshooting tip there for you. This one is working really well. It is so free and strong and if you want to see how I did this nail this is the top of the nail I didn't this is kind of what they call back building so it's from the underneath did all the building not on top I've got very flat nails and these are sculpted so they're quite C curved and they're quite they have a very strong apex on there so you have to put quite a bit of gel underneath. I think I will. If you guys wanna see a little tutorial on how I apply these, I will do that for you. But yeah, anyways, I got the Sean Le Legend extra long tapered coffin. Oh, one other thing I wanna mention is that all the Opry tips, I know you can't, there's no way you, 
can see this. There's a little Opry logo right here and it's got the number of the size of the tip right here as well as the number on the lid. I like that the number is down here as opposed to up here. When you put the tip primer on here, it melts the image away. So on this side, you don't even see it. Another little tip there for you. I also picked up the natural round medium. So these fit my nails really, really well. I, like I said, I have a flatter nail bed. Okay, so that's a medium round, natural. If you buy the sculpted, it will have more of a C-curve. There we go, you can kind of get to see what the C-curve is like on a natural tip. And this comes in sizes zero to nine, and I think you might be able to order separately the double zeros. I also picked up the coffin medium, and that is these nails that have actually lost their shape a little bit because I've been using acetone in some nail art. I was playing around and I was using some acetone. So it did lose its shape a little bit, but I, I do like this length for me. And I am a pointed almond girl, but I really liked this shape. And as you can see, I showed you before that the, the C curve is slight and the apex is not as pronounced as in the sculpted ones. There's the C curve on the natural, on the natural cough and medium. Yeah, my nails are way too long to be doing anything other than fumbling. <laughs> So I'm not even gonna try. I picked up the stiletto medium natural again because my nails are flat and a lot most of my clients their nails are flat they're not as curved so I thought that you're not even gonna be able to tell with these monsters I've got on my nails here but that's probably where they will come up to. So for those days that I just don't feel like sculpting I will use these. I've had some requests to do press-ons so I wanted to get stocked up on that. Then I got the natural round short, which I think is a popular length and shape. And these ones are super short. So for those days that I just wanna pop something on my nails, I think these will be great. This is a zero, so that's the biggest one that they have and it fits my thumb. And I've got small hands and small nail beds. So I'm not too sure if anyone with a, a bigger nail bed than what I have, if it would work. As you can see there, a slight C curve. So it's more, more of that flat shape than a super pronounced C curve, really rounded. And a really nice apex on it as well, which you can't see squat. And then the last tip box I got was the natural round medium. I wasn't sure which one I would like more, the, the Brittany Tokyo shape or the natural round. The natural round is for the C curve and not much of a apex, whereas the Brittany Tokyo ones are more like a sculpted shape. So, so that's the Brittany Tokyo one. It has a nice C curve in there. A really pronounced apex as well. Okay, then I picked up six mood changing gel polishes from Joya Mia. I've never used this product. I've heard the name only from Susie from Nail Career Education, her YouTube channel, but I've never tried this product or know anything about it. So I thought, oh, I would, I remember La Chat. Remember that brand? And I love those mood changing gel polishes. My clients loved it. So I brought in six colors for fall just to see how they go. And, and if I like them, if my clients like them, I may bring in more. I'm not gonna swatch them, but I am gonna show you what they look like cold and warm. Okay, we have number eight, which looks like this Barbie pink. Very pretty, kind of a medium pink color. It's got a dish of warm water, so let's see. There we go. Then it turns out to be a like a bubblegum pink when warm and a Barbie pink when cool. Next is number nine, which is this gorgeous fall taupey purple. And I have to say that I was able to swatch these with one layer and it was very pigmented. These do need a good shake, good stir. So if you have an Imex, I would recommend putting those on the Imex before using them. And this is the swatch stick for number nine. Oh, cool. Comes up to a purple when warm and a taupey purple when cool. That's so cool. And I picked up number 18, and this is a deeper taupey purple with a gray undertone. This one's really, really pretty. This is perfect for fall. Then we'll dip it into the water here. Oh yeah, that is so cool. 
That is so cool. <laughs> These are fun. I don't know if I would like have a hundred of these kind of colors because how many variation of colors can you have? But having a few in my collection are so, so fun. And I picked up number 20, which is like this pearl gunmetal black. There's slight, very, very fine glitter in here as well. And I do want to say that I am noticing with all of these colors that there is an odor to them, kind of like a solvent type odor. And I, I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's what the color changing chemical is or product is. I have no idea. Here's the swatch stick. This one surprised me. I thought it was going to be green. And it turns out to be this almost a, it's a gray white, pearly gray white. This one is um, so cool. This would be great for Halloween nails. And I also think the warmer the water, the lighter this would get. Because when this came out of the lamp, it was like a pearl white. Next, I picked up number 21, which is kind of this brick brownie red color. This one changed super fast. So this one came out to a like a lighter red and a deep maroon red. That one is so fun. Yeah, this one seems to be changing color quite quickly because I am noticing on the edges where it's cooler, it is changing quite quickly. So that's fun. Then the last one I picked up was number 24. And this is a medium, kind of a dusty purple, fall purple. And then it turns out to a lighter pinky purple when warm. Like, aren't these fun? <laughs> oh, who says that nail colors have to be simple in one color? And this one also changes quite quickly as well. Okay, and the last thing I picked up from Canada Nail Supply was a couple of bits by Purple which I've never heard of this brand until Canada Nail Supply brought it in. But I, I've been on a hunt for these two bits for quite a few months. And when I saw that Purple had them, not Purple Beauty, so don't get that confused, but it's the brand name Purple Professional, which is a, 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 a nail company, like a nail product company. So I picked up this tiny, tiny, tiny cuticle bit. Now you guys know I rave about this one here for doing cuticle work, but on some of my clients, this bit here for doing cuticle prep is too big. I tried this one out on myself and holy crap, it works like a dream. You can get right up here and get that excess cuticle that might just be hanging on. If you're someone that doesn't like to clip or cut cuticles, I think this would be a great option for that. And then this bit, which is kind of the same roughness, the same grit. And this is just a cylinder, it's got a flat end and it's supposed to be great for, sorry guys, getting in along the sidewalls. I know some of my clients that have deep sidewalls and the skin comes right up. It's nice to be able to get right in there and just even everything out, getting some of that really deep excess dead skin off the nail plate. And this is a, I would say this is about a fine grit. Okay, on to Glitter Mix Canada. I bought a whole bunch of glitters. So this one is hot cocoa and it's some really beautiful fall tones, some plums, copper, bronze, there's leaves in here, there are hexagon shapes, different sizes, there's rose colored hexagon shapes in here as well. So a really great fall toned glitter and even something that could be used around Halloween as well. This one I believe I've talked about before and this is called Dreaming of Fall. I am wearing it here. So you get different color of iridescent pink and white pearl leaf glitters. Really, really, really pretty. And this is what Dreaming of Fall looks like. Some white holographic leaves, some metallic pink leaves, and then there's hexagon shapes in here that are like a kind of like a fall yellow, uh, matte gold, and different sizes of hexagon shapes as well. And I also picked up Fall into Fall, which is just leaves. There's no other shapes in here. So you have gold and copper and 
bronze, I think. Let's pick out a few here. So some bronze, some copper, and gold leaves. Then I have Fall Storm, which is different sizes of hexagon, and it's almost like an iridescent gunmetal and black matte. There's even some black leaves in here as well. So this would be great on Halloween nails on top of that light elegance glitter. I mentioned earlier in my video, this would be so fun over top of that. Snake Bite is a great fall Halloween glitter. So it's almost like it's this iridescent lavender. There are bats in here, some stars, black matte, I think, and different sizes of dots. This was a last minute purchase that I stuck into my bin called hashtag OMG and it's a matte pink with gold. The matte glitters are hexagon shape and the gold is round dots and shards. So that is really, really cool. I can't wait to use this. Desert Queen, and this has got a really nice mixture of fall tones in here. They're all hexagon shapes, different sizes of hexagon. We have like a sage green, a copper, a lavender, some black. Not too sure if I'm seeing white and silver in here or not. I don't think so. But this is such a pretty fall glitter. Mystery, and this one is really cool that you can wear in the fall and leading into winter as well. Hexagon shapes different sizes we have almost like a bronze gold or copper gold so I would say like a deep gold a champagne gold hexagon shape we have a plum a matte plum and a matte fuchsia so that is really unique I think that fuchsia just pops and the plum glitter just gives this glitter some depth to it and then the last that's not true it's not the last glitter <laughs> But the last of the fall glitters is called Leave Me Alone. And this is a matte, deep pink and past like baby pink hexagon shapes with iridescent or holographic silver leaves and some rose metallic rose pink leaves as well. This one is super, super pretty. If you're someone or your client is someone that doesn't like the, the traditional fall tones of the greens and coppers and burnt oranges and yellows, this is a nice alternative. I also picked up some glitters for Christmas time. So I don't have any snowflakes and this was a as a request from one of my clients wanting some iridescent colored snowflakes. So I bought a bunch. <laughs> silver holographic snowflakes so there's just the snowflakes in here i also picked up white so just plain matte actually this is not a matte white i think it's more like a pearl white because there's a bit of a sheen to these so you could pair this up with any other glitter some small loose glitters you can put a couple of these white snowflakes over a deep navy blue that's got a glitter in it you can use so much with just plain white this one I thought would work great with what my client was wanting, the white and pink, and this is almost like a chameleon. So it's kind of like a creamy white as the light reflects it this way. And then we get into some iridescent colors and then some deep, not so much deep pinks, but some pinks. So there's, I think they're all like iridescent white and pink. This is really, really pretty. And this is also another glitter that you could pair up with some small chunks of like hexagon glitters or dots. Then because they had this one and I I love this color for winter nails so teal pink and white depending on how the light hits these snowflakes you either get pink or teal or white yeah there's there's the white from that angle <laughs> this is so unique so fun then I picked up frosty which has some, what do you call those, slivers? So holographic slivers. Actually, it's just silver slivers. Very, very shiny. Hexagon shaped glitters that are iridescent and holographic silver. We have silver Christmas trees. I don't know if you can even see any in here, but there's a few right here. But I'm not too sure you can see that. And then it's almost like there's this teal pink and white snowflakes in here as well. It's what it looks like. And then some really really tiny round glitters. Snowfall again with the iridescent colored snowflakes so you can either get teal or I'm seeing some pink or white. There's dots in here hexagon shaped the silver slivers white glitter 
This one is just stunning. So, so pretty. And then I picked up white. It's just called white. And this reminds me of white lace. I think it's white lace. It was the, those lace gels that Light Elegance had. They had it in pink and in white and they had different colors a few years back. And this is what this glitter reminded me of. There are some pearlized white glitters in here as well as, is there matte? There might be some matte in here, but I thought this would be great for if you want that snow falling effect, this would be a great glitter for that. I picked up a couple of packs of stickers. I don't usually use stickers. Actually, I never use stickers. I thought I would try. I was really intrigued with these fall toned florals and they're almost like embroidered, I wanna say sunflowers or, yeah, I'm not too sure what these flowers are. So some nice fall tones in here that I thought would look really nice on a fall set of nails. And then these stickers that are full of teddy bears, a client of mine, her grandson is named Teddy. And when I saw the name Teddy on here, I had asked her, I said, would you you do stickers with the name Teddy and a teddy bear on your nails? And she says, absolutely. And she's the client that has, I don't know if you've seen my Instagram posts, she's the client with the longest nails. So besides me, like her nails are longer than mine. And I think these would look really, really cute on her. And she said, absolutely, she would try these out. So I got these for her. I also picked up, not that I needed, but these tweezers. I saw these on the website, thought they were really cool. So on one side is a silicone tip. So that would be great for pressing down the foil and then really, really sharp, pointy. Yeah, that hurts, tipped tweezers. I'm going to get so much use out of these. I'm so happy I got these. They had them in white and pink, but I think they were out of stock in the white. Now I usually buy my swatch sticks on Amazon. I think they're 32s or 36 oval swatch sticks. And I think they're like eight bucks. These are 50 oval swatch sticks. So they're this shape here that I use for all my swatching but they come with the metal ring and that's what I prefer. And there's 50 to a package and it was less money than what was on Amazon. So I wasn't too sure if they were gonna be the same length. So I didn't wanna buy a whole bunch and then have these be longer or shorter, but they're not, they're the exact same length. So I'm super excited about that. Now I know where to go to support a Canadian company to get my swatch sticks as opposed to Amazon. Okay, this is a fun find, you guys. It never fails. Every time I do my nails really long like this, I have to fill up my car with gas. When I have short nails, do I need gas? No, not at all. So thumbnails like this and trying to reach in to grab your debit or credit card out of the gas machine or the ATM machine is a pain in the buttocks. So I bought this cute little gadget. I didn't know it came with this blue fuzzy thing for a keychain, but it is so soft. It's almost like it's soothing and it could almost be used like as a, a stress reliever. It's so soft and smooth and fuzzy. But I bought the butterfly one. It comes with this clip on the end and there it's rubber in the inside of this clip, which I was not too sure how this would work. But say this is a, credit card in a debit machine or the gas machine, you can put this on the card and pull your card out without having to go and fumble around and act like a real goof. <laughs> so I think there was four different designs. I chose the blue butterfly actually for two reasons. Blue was my mom's favorite color. And this was the exact shade of butterfly. Oh gosh, that the nurses put on my dad's door when he was passing at the hospital. And I actually took the butterfly with me after he passed. So this kind of represents my parents with the color and the butterfly as they both have passed on now. Okay, Whew, that was a little hard to get through, <laughs> but such a fun find. On a happier note, such a fun find. And if you don't want this fuzzy blue thing, you can take it off 
you can just have this on your keys. You can have this just sitting in your car. You don't have to have it on your keys, but keep it in your vehicle. So when you're getting gas, you can reach in and grab it and it's not weighing your keychain down. But this was so cute, I had to have it. Okay, and lastly, I got a bunch of foils. I got a lot of foils. So I picked up some Halloween images. I'm not one for holiday themed foils. I just don't feel like I get my money's worth out of them because they are so seasonal and especially Halloween is one day. Whereas with fall, you, you can get a, a good two, three months. But these were so cool and I thought, oh, they're not gonna go bad. They're not gonna expire. And I think they'll be really, really fun to let my clients try out. So some great Halloween images on this one. We have pumpkins. This one really caught my attention here, which is some tropical leaves with, and it's hard to see, but a skull in here. So I thought that was really cool. Oh, and some cobwebs. I just noticed that. I've looked at this this foil uh, a few times over the past couple of days and I never noticed this, the spider webs. <laughs> then I picked up this fun one because of this foil right here, which is Winnie the Pooh. I asked my daughter if she would consider getting her nails done again now that she's had the boys and that I found Winnie the Pooh ones. And if I bought them, would she, would she use these? And she goes, absolutely. So again, these don't expire, so I can keep these in my collection for ages. And there's also like Hello Kitty, Barbie, we have SpongeBob, uh, Tom and Jerry, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse. So just some fun kid foils. I picked up these floral foils, mainly for these two. This one here is a really nice fall flowers. Not necessarily fall flowers, but I think these might be chrysanthemums, yellow roses. I think this is a sunflower. Just really, really pretty. Great fall tones. And this orange one is great fall tones. This one here would be great for wedding nails because they're all white flowers and baby's breath and just very soft, delicate flowers. And then you have your, your spring and summer flowers as well. Okay, I picked up this floral set mainly because there was a couple of fall oils in here. This one having a lot of fall leaves. We have some spring and summer colors, some more fall, here's some fall tones. And these almost look like watercolored flowers, so that'd be great for spring and summertime as well. So I thought this would be a nice addition to my foil collection. Then I picked up these butterflies. I've seen so many people using butterflies as nail art, whether it be stickers or foils. I didn't have any, and I liked this collection because there's some fall tones here, some summer tones, some soft spring tones. You have some roses just a lot of different colors here that you could use all year round. And butterflies are always so very pretty and, and make any kind of nail art look very, I was, I was gonna say delicate. And then the last set of foils I picked up was some abstract patterns. I like this plaid one, great for fall. So you have like this, some tweed print, some plaid. This would be great for a fall set of nails. These. Lavender and cream colors are great for fall. You could wear this in the fall and in the summer. I like this squiggly line patterned ones. That would be great for fall. Even this camo one. Instead of your traditional green, you have browns and blues. So kind of fun. So I think I'm pretty much stocked up for the rest of this year for nail art kind of stuff for my studio. One last thing, I have been on the hunt for caviar beads or bouillon beads as some call it. I had these silver ones I got from Beamy back at one of the CNTCs. I ran out of this size. I actually have this package on my Amazon storefront. So if you're looking for something like this that is inexpensive and you get four rose gold, four silver, and four gold, I think this was money well spent. And like I said, these are the sizes that I use, so they're not the bigger ones. They're like that in-between size that are great for in-between Swarovski crystals that kind of look like the crystals are surrounded like a diamond ring with the claws that come up. That's kind of the effect that I get when I use these. So I bought this little pack off Amazon. 
I've used them, they work great, and I think I have enough to last me quite a long time. Okay, so that's all I have to show you. Let's just do a short recap. And there you go, you guys. That's quite the haul, I think. <laughs> but some fun fall nail art ideas, some essentials, some items that can carry on year after year that don't expire, which is what I like, and just a little bit of everything. If you have any questions, comment those questions down below. I'll do my best to answer them as quickly as I can. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media. Hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I think that should do it. I think we're done. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this nail mail haul. And until the next video, we will see you again soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>